Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Italeri LCVP Higgins boat, and this is a 135th scale. This is my final installment of the Operation Overlord Diorama Part 10, and I'm very excited about um, doing this particular video. So let's go ahead and start building this boat and making the Diorama, finishing up the Diorama, the Diorama right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have one plastic bag containing the sprues for the figures. The boat itself. Parts for the boat. String and decal. And the instruction sheet. All right, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the completed model kit before painting, and this is a very nice kit, honestly. When I think about model kits, um, good model kits, I, in my mind, I don't think of Italari as being one of the better manufacturers of better model kits. I think of Dragon, Tamiya, um, those type of companies. But this particular kit really has given me a second thought about Italari as a good uh, model kit company. It's highly detailed, as you can see. And one of the amazing things about I like this, uh, what I like about this particular kit is that it's easy to build. Um, there weren't like a lot of parts in this particular kit, but when you put it together, it looks amazing. This is a very nice model kit, and I recommend this model kit for all skill levels, including the beginners. If you're a beginner, this would be a very nice and rewarding kit for you to build. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I already gave the entire model a coat of black primer, and now I'm going to use my airbrush and paint the model with the main color. I'm 
I'm going to give the entire model a pin wash. Uh, what I've done was I coated the entire model um, with a coat of Future Floor Wax to give it protection. And what you see right here is a cup of black artist oil paint diluted in mineral spirits. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the entire model a pin wash. I'm going to give my entire model some grime effects. I'm going to tint the entire model with a coat of light brown color. This is the completed model kit after painting, and it is a very nice model kit. Uh, by painting the model kit, it just really reinforces the very nice, highly detailed kit that it already made. Very nice, and the figures are very nice as well. It's time for me to finish up building Operation Overlord Diorama. It's time for me to make the water. What you see right here is the diorama that I made in previous episodes of Operation Overlord. And right now I'm going to use my caulk, clear caulking, to make the water. I'm going to use an ordinary plastic spoon to spread the clear caulking around and also this spoon would also act to make waves as well. I'm going to give the bottom of the boat a wet appearance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my airbrush and spray this area right here with a coat of future floor wax. I'm going to highlight my waves. What I have in my hand is a brush um, that's been dipped in white paint and I took most of the paint out and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry brush the waves to give us some highlights. Okay, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and we finally finished up the diorama from all the previous videos that I made until now. It's all wrapped up into one. Now I'm very excited to show you the completed model diorama from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed diorama after completing everything for all those months and I really do feel like I have been transported back in 1944. And I felt like I'm there in 1944 and I took a picture of the D-Day invasion and this is how it looked like to me. Now, I'm going to just take my camera down and give you more of a 3D visual of what 
I see. Um, and it just looks like to me that I have been transported back to 1944, that I'm actually there. It just does look really realistic to me. It just looks like um, I'm in the middle of a battle with explosions coming up where all the men are just very tense and about to just run out of the Higgins boat. This model kit, um, excuse me, this, this diorama has taken me months to complete and it just really challenged me um, just to um, just challenge me of all my resources, my skills to make this diorama and you just can't rush uh, a work of art. Uh, it took me a long time to build because it just was a labor of love. That could be this model project. What you want to see is a video slideshow of the entire diorama, but before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own. Uh, there is a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching. And always, please, have a great day.